In the world of e-commerce and dropshipping, so much has changed in the past couple of years. And one new trend that's currently on the rise is digital dropshipping. But what is digital dropshipping compared to regular e-commerce and physical dropshipping? Well, most of the two styles overlap a ton, but one major difference that is pretty obvious is that digital dropshipping is selling a digital product, whereas physical dropshipping, you are sending the product physically to the customer, and it's something that you can hold in your hand, obviously. I'm going to be covering everything that you need to know about digital dropshipping, the pros and cons, how to get it up and running. But first, I need to give a shout out to e-commerce mastered student Mank R for passing just 1,800 euros only using TikTok organic traffic in the very first month. So congrats, and I cannot wait to see how far you scale the store only using organic traffic. If you're interested in learning from me and my team personally at Ecomery Mastered, make sure to visit our website down below in the description so you can learn more about us. Or if you're just ready to come learn and start your ecom journey, I'll have a link down below in the description, and that's where you can book in an appointment. You can't skip that process, so make sure you book a time slot while they're available. All right, now let's cover the pros and cons of digital dropshipping. I've been in the space of physical dropshipping now for five years and run multiple seven-figure businesses, and this new digital dropshipping trend kind of piqued my interest. But just knowing the space pretty well, I can easily point out some cons in it, which we're going to cover. But first, onto the pros. So pros is that digital dropshipping have higher profit margins. With digital dropshipping, since you're sending a digital product and it's not physical, there is really no product cost. There is a slight cost up front if you want to get this product customized and you have it really personal, but that's a one-time fee and then you can keep sending this product over and over again. That also cuts out all of the fulfillment in terms of shipping costs. This is because right when the customer makes a purchase, they're immediately going to receive the product. And this is going to be done through email or another app, which I'll talk about later. And if you're running organic traffic to get sales to your digital dropshipping store, you're going to see profit margins as high as 90% because the two biggest costs in physical dropshipping are advertising costs and product cost. So since you're cutting out both of those, you can see these really, really high profit margins, some as high as 95%. Another pro is not having to deal with finding the right supplier. Finding the right supplier for physical dropshipping can take a while to vet out the right one. You have to see if they can communicate well, deliver the product on time, make sure the packaging and the overall product is high quality. Now it is one of those things where once you find that good supplier, you kind of stick with them forever. I've been working with mine for over three years now. But the benefit of having a digital dropshipping store is that you don't have to deal with the supplier because it's going to be completely automated and you don't have to deal with any of the shipping times or hoping the product arrives or hoping the product doesn't arrive broken. It's all done for you, making that process super simple, dealing with less returns. Sounds pretty great, right? But first, let's cover some cons because I think there's some glaringly obvious cons in this space that need to be talked about. And then after the cons, I'm going to go into my theory of what works best for digital dropshipping and how you can find the most success. The most obvious con to me is who buys digital products? Why would you buy a digital product or an ebook when pretty much everything is available online for free. And I do think building a customizable limited project, which is a little hint on my theory I'm gonna be talking about, is a little bit limited in terms of the niches you can choose from, and it might be a little bit hard to stand out. This can ultimately make it a little bit harder for a beginner to find any success in this business. Another con is that it's nearly impossible to prevent sharing of this product. I mean, look at Netflix, for example. With their recent update, they're really trying to beat people that are sharing passwords with friends and family, because this is a ton of missed revenue and they're really trying to collect and crack down on that but it's really really hard to do so anyone can essentially purchase a digital product or an ebook or a calendar or a template download it screenshot it give it to people for free share it to their friends and family it, it's pretty much endless and also pretty much any digital product can be torrented which i'm not recommending you view but you can find photoshop online torrented or pretty much any other software or digital product that you're looking for and that's definitely a concern in this business model that we can't overlook but let me explain my theory on how I think you can become massively successful selling a digital product. Our product needs to be hand catered and unique to the point of where it doesn't matter if someone else shares the product. And the reason for that is because it'll be so personalized that it, there's no benefit of even sharing it. Unlike an ebook or a calendar, providing a really unique product will one, really entice them to actually purchase this product from you, leading to higher conversion rates, and two, making it extremely unuseful for people that they're sharing the product with, leading those people to be marketed to essentially by word of mouth, coming back to you and getting their personalized product. Let me give you an example of a good product to sell that has uniqueness. Let's use the fitness and health niche for this example. An ideal digital product would be one where a customer could visit your landing page and fill out a questionnaire. This questionnaire will ask people like what's their current weight, what is your goal weight, what are your dietary restrictions, what kind of gym equipment do you have access to? Do you have access to a gym or do you have access to an at-home gym with no weights? What is your time frame for your goal, etc. Now this questionnaire will actually have to be mapped in the back end. It'll be like some sort of tree map format where whatever inputs that they put into it, like their weight, their height, their goals for fitness, what 
they're trying to achieve, all that stuff I just listed. It's gonna take all of these and spit out a personalized fitness plan, a meal plan, routine, etc. For example, if they say that they're a male 165 pounds and their goal weight is 175 pounds and they wanna get there in the next two months, they don't have a gym membership, all they have are dumbbells at home, and let's say they're allergic to gluten. Your system would take these inputs and put together an exercise plan only using dumbbells or body weight that can be used at home, a schedule for these workouts, how many days that they need to work out, what the rotation is, etc. And a meal prep kind of cookbook that provides them with recipes and how many calories that they need to take per day based on their weight so they can hit the goal that they want within two months. That's the kind of digital product that I think would absolutely crush because it's so personalized. It really caters to people's goals. It knows their exact inputs of what they need, how they're going to hit it. And it's all spit out and put together really nicely, formatted for them and sent to them via email, PDF, whatever. Now that's something I'd be interested in, right? Because it's like having a personal trainer or a nutritionist or some sort of coach putting this all together for you and then just sending it right over to you. I mean, people pay hundreds of dollars to get this kind of information. That is definitely what would make you stand out selling digital products. There would be solving a problem. There would be uniqueness to it. It wouldn't matter if they sent it to their friends because they have to be the same height and weight and also be allergic to gluten. It's so unique and it's so personal. It would make people feel like they really got a lot of value out of it. And don't even get me started on the upsells for it, right? In that specific niche, you could sell them at home workout equipment. You could sell them protein, all these different things as well on the side. If you want to go into physical products mixed in with digital. Now that's a great example, but let's talk about the resources of how you can actually get started doing this. So if we're doing a questionnaire, we're going to need some sort of questionnaire software that you can actually map all of these inputs to give someone an output, right? So there's a couple that you can actually look into. I'm not affiliated with these. There's no commerce and there's also Octane AI. Both of them have this questionnaire type of format that you can integrate onto your Shopify store. They each cost a different amount up front. Obviously Octane AI, for example, is if you're under a million dollars in revenue, then you pay $50 a month or 200, depending on which kind of set you need and what kind of features you need. But these are two great resources to use when you're filling out that questionnaire, if that's the route that you want to go. And you're also going to need a domain, right? So this is a perfect time to thank today's actual sponsor of the video. Did you know that over 70% of online business owners cannot secure the .com domain? This leads e-commerce owners to put in hyphens, extra letters in their domain name, which can make your store look a little bit untrustworthy. With .com being extremely saturated, e-com brands and celebrities have been making the .store name really, really popular. And it's a no-brainer, isn't it? A website ending in .store implies just one thing. This website is an online store. A place where you do your shopping. Celebrities like Rihanna, Michelle Obama, Shakira, PewDiePie, brands like Discord and Faber Castell, influencers like Mark Rober, Zach King, and Dude Perfect, and over 1 million other sellers. If you're starting up an e-com brand, which I'm assuming you are because you're watching this video or you've watched my other videos, it's a no-brainer really. You gotta do it on .store domain. You need to lock down your .store domain. You can get it at any registrar like GoDaddy, Namecheap, or even directly on Shopify. Or you can go directly onto their website at www.get.store. And just for my viewers specifically, .store is offering you guys a massive discount at 99 cents for your domain. This is for the first year if you use my coupon code. All you gotta do is use the coupon code AustinStore on git.store, and I'll also have this link down below in the description. Let me just show you exactly how easy it is to open a .store domain. All you're gonna go to is git.store, hit buy now. Now let's look for a .store name. So if this is in the fitness niche, then let's type in something like Fitness Pal. Click on buy now, and it tells you right here that it's available. So you have fitnesspal.store. It's available for $29 unless you use my discount code. You're just gonna hit add to cart. Now there are a couple different things you can add on to your domain package if you want, like a professional email from Google, secure your website with SSL, which is really important. Otherwise you get that big red flag at the top left of domains that makes it look really untrustworthy. So we're gonna go ahead and hit proceed. Typed in the coupon code Austin Store, all in caps, duration one year, instead of $29, it's 99 cents. So the total comes down to $8.99 for all that protection as well and a Gmail. All you have to do is hit place order and then it is yours. You can link it to Shopify, Wix, wherever you want. That's how easy it is to start up your .store domain. Again, if you want a discount code, I'll have it down below in the description. And remember, .store is for selling. And now we've got the software for the questionnaire set up. We've got the domain ready. We're gonna need the fulfillment software and the storefront resource. So for the fulfillment software, we're gonna want something that delivers to the customer immediately, usually through email with like a PDF. That's the beauty of digital drop shipping, right? It's just so instant that customers aren't as upset waiting for long shipping times. Maybe if the product arrives broken, it's just something you don't have to worry about with digital. That's the beauty of it. There are a ton of apps that actually can do this for you on Shopify for free or fairly cheap. A really good one that everyone kind of uses is Easy Digital Products. What it does is 
automate all of your orders so the customer directly gets it right after they purchase. I have no affiliation with any of these apps. There's a bunch of them on the Shopify app store right here. So pick the one that works the best for you and has the features that you need. And if you don't want to build a questionnaire and build this on the back end, it's too much work and you just want to try selling a digital product like an ebook or something like that, a good resource is PLR, which is private label rights. People will actually put already created courses, ebooks, all this stuff on these websites where you can purchase the rights to them so you can sell it over and over again. And once you purchase the rights, you can sell it as is, or you can add some new features to it, maybe update it a little bit to make it a little bit more personalized. So you have like kind of a selling point. Now for the storefront resource, we're obviously going to be wanting to use Shopify. Shopify is my favorite compared to all of the other platforms out there, has the most integrations. You guys are probably familiar with Shopify if you're watching this video. If not, watch any of my other videos. That's pretty much all I talk about. And you haven't started your Shopify store yet and you want to, normally Shopify is $39 per month, but guess what? I'm a partner with Shopify. So I have a code for you to use in the link down below in the description. And what that code does is it takes that $39 and puts it down to $1 per month for the first three months. So if you open up your store for the first three months, you're only paying $1 to have a Shopify plan. It's a fantastic discount. Glad to be a partner with them. I'm not sure how long it's going on for. They keep sending me emails threatening that they're going to change the offer. So take advantage of it now if you can. Again, that's in the link down below in the description. Now our store is pretty much set up, right? We're obviously going to have to build all that on the back end, which I can make more videos on to go in depth if you guys are interested in digital drop shipping. But how are we going to get customers to the website? Well, getting customers to the website is going to be really similar to getting physical dropshipping customers to the website. But being in the digital dropshipping space and having such high margin potential, we're probably gonna wanna go the route with organic traffic at first. And what I would be doing is posting on your business's social media accounts, Instagram Reels or TikTok, posting three times a day promoting your product, right? So if you were doing fitness and health, I would sprinkle in a bunch of fitness and health videos, workout routines, all this stuff, and then start sprinkling in some advertisements for your product. Also for digital products, it would be really great if you could utilize influencers that already have a massive following. And there are a ton and pretty much endless influencers in the fitness and health space in general. So you just reach out to them via DM, say, hey, can you please promote my brand? This is what we're all about. We can make these custom personalized workout routines and health and fitness, all this stuff, right? Convince them to promote it on their page. They might require a fee or they might require an affiliate commission. So they might say, you know, I'll promote it, but every time that you make a sale, give me 10, 15%. That's a margin that you can actually give away very easily because your margins, if you're doing organic, are already gonna be 90% plus. So what's taking away 10 to 15%? It's definitely worth it. You're still going to land around, you know, 75 to 80% margins. That's a route that I would recommend going, but you can move into paid traffic with these types of products. I think you would have to put a lot of time and effort into your advertisements though, to really convince people to buy a digital product from a paid advertisement, because unlike influencers promoting your product, a paid advertisement, when someone sees it on their phone or laptop, it's cold traffic. So you have to convince them heavily with an ad. You also have to convince them to check out on your landing page and ultimately make the purchase. So it's a little bit longer of a process and harder to convince someone. I would definitely start out with influencers, that's your best bet. You're gonna have higher margins than paid advertisements in this business model. I hope I gave you guys a great overview on what digital dropshipping is, how to get started, what resources that you need. And if you guys wanna learn more about digital dropshipping, physical dropshipping, follow my channel, leave a comment down below if you like digital dropshipping, I can make more videos on it. But if not, of course, I'll go back to physical dropshipping, what I know best. And if you're interested in that, make sure to check out my channel because there's so many videos on it. As always, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time.